Welcome back. We spoke about binary encoding and permutation encoding. In this video, we will speak about value encoding. Right, so direct value encoding can be used in problems where some complicated value, such as real numbers, are used, right? So the use of binary encoding for this type of problems would be very, very difficult. And in this type of encoding, every chromosome or every solution or every candidate solution is a string of some value. And the values can be anything connected to the problem. They can be numbers, like real numbers, uh, characters, or maybe any some other complicated objects. So if you if you look at these examples, for example, the chromosome A, uh, it has value 1.3234, 5.32, and so on and so forth. Maybe a chromosome can look like this with um, uh, some characters, consecutive characters, or maybe it can be describing a chromosome can be describing for example some movement move back move back and then right forward and then move left something like that right so the idea here is that we can't use binary encoding and we sometimes have real numbers so we so uh, the permutation encoding is also not really applicable here um, and the best thing is to use some string of, of, of some value uh, the downside about this kind of, 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 of encoding or representation is that well it's usually necessary to develop some uh, new crossover and mutation techniques specific for the problems that we, we are trying to to solve right so the ordinary techniques uh, the ones we spoke about before and then the uh, ones that I'll, I will speak about in the coming videos sometimes are not suitable and we have to think of some new ways of doing them right um, an example of this type of encoding uh, when using genetic algorithms to solve a problem is, for example, when we try to find weights for a neural network. I hope everyone knows what neural networks are and how they work, or at least they have, uh, they have uh, uh, you know, a decent background. The problem is that we have a neural network with a certain architecture, architecture and then we are trying to find weights for inputs of neurons to train the network for some wanted output, right? Well, we want to automatically find the weights. And we use here value encoding to find the weights and the real values on the chromosomes represent corresponding weights for the input. So each chromosome represents a set of values for the weights, right? Uh, that's how we uh, maybe can uh, represent and use genetic algorithms to solve um, use genetic algorithms to solve the problem of finding weights for a network problem for I'm sorry for a neural network problem uh, the problem is finding the uh, weights right so I'm going to stop here in the next video we'll briefly speak about tree encoding thanks for watching and I'll see you next time